There's a ton of myths out there about belts. So to debunk some of those myths, we've got an Eric, the belt guru. No, modern snowmobile belts do not stretch. The, the cords that we use in these are very high modulus. What that means, practically speaking, is they don't stretch, period. They wear in width. So if it seems like it's getting loose, it's not because it got longer. There's no point in wrapping a tape around it to see if it's stretched. It's worn in width. Adjust your secondary if you can. Go ride. Incorrect. Some belts have an arrow on them. It says, run it this way. That's led to an erroneous assumption of people that belts are directional. I can put this belt on this way. I can put it on this way doesn't matter. The reason they do that is it's a good idea if you pull the belt off to put it back on running the same direction. What we recommend is you always get in the habit of putting it so you can read the Ultimax brand. If you get in the habit of doing that, you'll always be running the same direction. Not necessarily. Uh, what happens is a lot of people think, I want the belt that grips the best because that's going to put the most power down. And that's not always the case because your clutches expect a certain frictional characteristic of the belt. So if your clutches are set up for a belt that doesn't have a lot of friction and you throw a, a real grippy belt on there, what happens a lot of times is you can pull the engine RPM down, takes you out of the power band, you end up going slower. Incorrect. A lot of people look at the cogs, they say, why does that belt have all those little bumps on it? The reason is not for cooling. They look like cooling fins, but they're not. Here's what they're supposed to do. You have all these cords. This is the tensile part of your belt. This does the work. The job of the rubber is to keep those things flat so they all pull the load together. Cogs allow it to be stiff across the belt, kind of like a buttress, while keeping flexibility along the belt. No. Back in the stone age of belt manufacturing, uh, we used to use some mold release and things like that in, in manufacturing that meant belts were kind of sticky. And so belt manufacturers used to recommend that you wash your belt, hot water, soap, that kind of thing. Uh, anymore, any modern belt manufacturer doesn't use that. The belt's not sticky. There's no reason to take it in the shower with you. Wrong. There's all kinds of incorrect ways to store a belt. I know that storage space is tight on a sled, but one thing you never want to do is try to wad your belt up so tight in order to keep space for your sandwich. One thing that, uh, that will happen is if you end up back bending it, you can snap it. The rubber is designed to stay in compression. If you flip that thing inside out or kink it backwards, it will break. Wrong. Belts are made of rubber, which has a glass transition temperature. Below that temperature, they act like glass. They will snap. If you're riding in extreme temperatures, if you're at minus 40, take that belt off, take it inside with you. If you forget and leave it on the sled, let the sled warm up a little bit before you engage the belt. 